Welcome in. We're back. All right. Uh, let's see if we can make sure that OBS isn't doing dumb things with audio levels today. Like it was on Monday. But we should be good. <clears throat> levels look decent at least, so... Uh, if you're in chat and stuff sounds weird, mm, let me know. Uh, but we're back. It's it's areas at wartime. We have we have updates. There's all sorts of updates. What am I doing? I'm hitting buttons. In the right window? Nope. Now I'm in the right window. All right. So uh, as far as things go, radar is still clean except for our blue dots, which is good. And uh, unfortunately, the aggression. <laughs> score from the GC towards us is really high. It has continued to go up. <laughs> don't, don't question where the cookies have gone. I never question where the cookies have gone. Uh, that way leads leads madness. But uh, yeah, the GC's aggression score has continued to climb up to 710, which means there's a lot of patrols in the area. I'm, I'm actually shocked that some didn't pop up as soon as I loaded the game. Um... We need to, to go hit him for a bit. The awesome stuff. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. But nothing new has popped up on the news. Done some stuff in the meanwhile. Uh, let's update some things here. Because we've got some updates to this. So, uh, we still can't sell freight goods to Azuris. Because the GC will shoot us out of the sky. And by shoot us out of the sky, I mean lots of weapons. And they'll summon drones. Uh, I did fly around their no-fly zone and sneak in on foot with the colony between me and their fort. But they'll try and shoot through the colony to get to me. So that that didn't work. Uh, but I was able to get inside and check their shops. And sure enough, they don't have refined crystal. They don't have uh, any tantalum. They don't have anything fun for sale, which is kind of expected. One moment while I give the cat some treats because he's actually behaving himself today. He's asking politely instead of being a butthead. Take a rail gun to the bridge. <laughs> you know, I'm not. Uh, I'm not entirely against that concept. So some other stuff I did, and we'll get to that in just a minute. But it's kind of related to the bridge, because the bridge is permanently loaded right now, which might impact uh, the sim speed a tiny bit. You can see it up there in, in yellow against the back. We'll, we'll get to that. Uh, so, we need more guns. We have lots of guns. I added another gun tower there in the back. I've added some more assault cannons. We're actually doing pretty good. Uh, when, when things come in, unless they come in over this hill, because there's nothing I can do about that, we tend to not really even take damage. We tend to swap them from the sky first, which is good. Um, it's just it's stuff that's needed to be done. So, we're good there, at least. So, let's go ahead and Mark some things off as we go. Uh, need even more guns. You know what? We're going to leave this. Uh, because there can never be too many guns. We have a lot more guns. In fact, I've moved this. Guns. Hot damn need guns. This is still down here for a reason it's completed. But as far as new things, uh, expand the basic production facilities. This has been done. We'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, design and build an actual fighting ship now that I've kicked the beehive. That's been done. We completed that. Well, we most we completed everything but the greebling parts. Right? We didn't we didn't do the greebling parts, but we got the actual bones done. Uh, I vote both more guns and bigger guns. Because the problem with bigger guns is they shoot slower, so you need more of them to maintain the same rate of fire. And that said, salvoing turrets is glorious. I've been working on a project off stream later to that. <clears throat> we'll get to that later. We don't have the we don't have the resources for that yet. But we built it, and I spent some time since the last stream going through and finishing the greebling and getting the armor on. So it's uh we're in a good spot. It's been named the Evil Weevil. That was in the comments. Uh, I like it. It fits the shape and it fits the purpose. Cause uh yeah. It's done. Uh as far as that goes, what is this thing? Is this not? Okay, some things are working, some things are not. There we go. 
you too, why you be this way. Anyway, uh, so we need to blow up the local GC offices on continent. There's... A couple. Right, if we, if we expand this out, make this bigger. Uh, they have a fort down here. Next to Azurus. We're here. At the gear. Uh, this red triangle is one of their mining outposts there at the Lithium. They've also got one down here at, I'm assuming this is supposed to be magnesium. I don't know. It's MG. I think that's magnesium. But I thought we didn't have magnesium because I replaces that. I don't know. Whatever it is, there's a thing there. There's a base there. I've named it magnesium. Yeah, it's supposed to be magnesium. I don't actually know what's there, though. We'll find out. Um, there's Sunset City. I think that's the name of it. It's another uh, civilian town this way. There may or may not be a fort here. I don't remember. And then there's the main GC port here. This is like their big stronghold. Um, we can zoom out some. Actually, no, we're going to go. We're going to go. We'll get to that in a minute. We'll strategize here. Resize this down so it's a little bit more usable for me. We'll use our big map downstairs. That sunset. Okay. I thought I thought I had the name right. I have it marked on a on a waypoint. Uh, so we need to do this. This is the big thing because the more their threat keeps building up, the more they're going to throw things at us. And eventually, we just need to wipe them out. So we need to get started on that. We have guns to start that now. We're not going after the fort near the GC or near Azurus because the last time we went there, they spawned so many drones, there's no way the evil evil can take that. But maybe we'll experiment with throwing some AI blocks onto a copy of the Weevil and see if maybe we can get some, some dumb AI followers. Or we'll just build my my specialty project eventually and just shell it from the sea. Uh, and the other thing we need to do is we need to go to the moon for platinum. You clap the Carcosa base. Nice. It's a little bit more open. Uh, the one here is kind of in a protected cove, and there's high mountains, so it makes it really hard to deal with... I did some scouting. Kind of hard to deal with the drones that spawn in. And I think I remember Carcosa being more open. Maybe I'm, I'm thinking of the other place. I don't know. I flew around. There were some things. We need to go to the moon. We need to go to the moon because we need platinum, and platinum's on the moon. And that's needed to get a frameshift drive so we can travel to uh, the rings of Bylan to get tantalum because we need the tantalum and we also need to get crystal which is available on crate which is behind byland Bylan, by Bi lean whatever it is the gas planet uh because we need tantalum and crystal for a damn building repair because uh i love the weldy boys but good god Sometimes they're frustrating, and you know what's not frustrating? Build and repair. You know what also build and repairs are good for? Floating through walls to repair things on your special project. Since on the river bend, I'm tra- Oh no! Oh no, that's a terrible place to get stuck. That rest of the bank of the river where the base once sat. Well, that's good. It's no longer trapped. Uh, then eventually, uh, we need to build a greenhouse over the farms, because every time- Every time the GC sends ships in over this ridge, they shoot at things, and then stray rounds damage my my farms. And you can see there's all sorts of holes all over the ground from where things have... ships have crashed. We haven't lost a tower. Um, in fact, a good chunk of this damage was actually caused by me with a handheld rocket launcher, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the ship kind of came down listing, and I hit it with a rocket, and it hit the ground, and then I lobbed two more rockets into it, and did more damage to the tower than the GC did for the entire rest of the attack. But then, this was another attack, and another attack, and then there's some small stuff down there, and the hills over there are riddled with holes. Uh, especially over this way some. There's like several big ones that aren't really going to show from a distance. But we got functions. So, uh, and as you can see, I've moved some things. The only thing left up here now is the resource, like the, the refinery processing stuff. So like the cement mixer, the, the chemical refineries, the smelter, the regular refinery, 
Um, is this chemical reprocessor? I don't remember. Ceramics furnace. Because it seems like a ceramics furnace you shouldn't put underground. The gasoline refineries and the, the steam power. This stuff is still up top and it's going to stay there. Um, I want to expand this area back a little bit more and put all the ore refinery stuff here because then that gives us some options to expand this out forwards. So we've got the crushers. The crushers will feed into the ore purifiers, into the washers. So we need to eventually step things up. We've got full, full production on IO now, except for nanotech, which we need space for. So uh, there's that. This is the evil weevil. I tore apart the entire exterior shell. I rebuilt the tray in the middle. Uh, and then I put armor back on. And it's all heavy. So we're a little bit slower, a little bit less nimble. But the additional... I did some tests. The light armor version of it didn't have the staying power. And look how glorious it is. It's this beautiful, beautiful, shiny, reflective purple. It still flies. Uh, I moved some things around. We have all the lights. We've got some automation involved for maintaining things for us. We've still got our turrets. We've got our rail guns and our Gatling guns. And this thing actually holds up pretty well. Um, I did some tests and took it straight into the, G the main GC base. Spawned all their drones. And it took them an upsettingly long time to take it down. And in fact, they took it down not because they blew it up but because they eventually did enough damage to the cockpit to eject me. And then it took like another two minutes of them pounding on it to actually drop it out of the sky. And so I feel really good about the Weevil. Um, the weapons, they'll, they'll go boom. But despite the huge number of hydrogen tanks we have hidden all through this thing, it's pretty damn sturdy. Yeah, Barbie out here about to go to war indeed. Uh, the good old... Uh, AI-100 here. I painted it. The gun got some paint. It's pretty now. I've only, you know, got seven shots at a time with it. But it's good enough. The gun's name is Dr. Doom. It's misspelled. But we're good, and it works, and it hauls things. Uh, I added some additional thrusters. Uh, I need to repaint this, because it took some damage in the last fight. Uh, and I just didn't get back around to repainting things. So, you know, it is what it is. We're going to repaint the engines. Because we paint the engines for safety. That's why they're orange, so people know not to stand next to them when they're in operations. So they don't get sucked through and blow up the damn engines. I don't care about them. Either they can afford a clone or they can't. I just don't want to have to pay for the, the motors for the, the thruster components. That's, that's really what it is. But, uh, yeah. It still works. Anyway, add additional thrust. Uh, these two large flatmo thrusters. And I think four small ones. Yeah. Um, and it, it works. It can now handle... I can load it completely full of ore. And it still can get up over the iron hill. Which, that's impressive. Because I think our... Atmo thrust drops to about 55% efficient in there. It gets really low. Where are you going? Away from us? Yeah, it's a GC transport. Okay. Uh, you can see that there, the coal mine marker, is not from a GPS. We've got Azura's Colony and the ITC's trading post. Live streamed out, shouldn't be down. We just need to refresh it. Or maybe chat's busted? Maybe chat's busted. Link isn't working. Hmm. It should be working. Maybe maybe chat's busted. Oh, did I did I mess up the 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 link? I probably did. Eh, that can do it. <clears throat> oh no, it's live dot space. 
Yeah. Yeah, so uh, the chat is now persistent on life space, which is nice. So there's that, which also means it technically works in between streams if you have the URL popped out still. But there's that. Yeah. Changes. Uh, the, the main home page for live space is now completely overhauled. It now has a sidebar in addition to dark dark mode. It, it works nice. I like it. You know what I've not done? I didn't unmute the game. Not that it matters, we've done nothing. But there we go. Now we have the, the, the soft noise of the water nearby. Anyway, as far as other interesting things we're doing. Uh, this needs to get, as far as like base infrastructure, this sucky uh, well wall needs to come down and get remade properly. Because that was that's the single most frustrating thing still here. Uh, as far as that goes, the map. I'm intentionally not looking the other way yet. So on the map, right, uh, we've got this here is their big thing. But other than that, there's a, a mining outpost for oil down on the southern continent. And they've got, it's like a, a fort, really. There's a mining outpost for some niter down here. But then over here, there's a little sea base, which is going to be super easy to take out. And I think that's all the GC has left other than... Right? Maybe? Got something over here too, don't they? They took out uh, the AHE base over there. Maybe it's done by Carcosa. Uh, I did fly over here and did confirm that yes, they did wipe this. This is this is completely wiped. In fact, uh, well, let's. I'll show you guys what this looks like because it it won't not load. We're on the dark side of the planet now. But yeah, they blew it up. Yeah, Carcosa base. And then the bridge uh, won't unload. <laughs> I flew over here in the little A1100. It loaded in. It's a glorious bridge, but uh, it won't unload now. So we might have to blow it up. I don't know. I don't want to blow it up. It's a beautiful bridge, but we might have to. Anyway, uh, there's some sand pirates over here. ish. Uh, there's another base somewhere on the south side of the map that's not marked. Oh, no, here, there it is. Or maybe it's down here. I don't know. There's a couple other factions here still we have to deal with. The other ITC trade station is up there. It's that green diamond. It also does not have any any fun things. The bridge is permanent. Yeah, I was hoping it would load in and out like a lot of the rest of the stuff does, and it just doesn't. So, it is what it is. We still need silver, by the way. I felt dumb because I didn't bring the, the stuff to have, like, even a hand drill to mine some silver. I left my drill here. Like an idiot. Uh, so I couldn't even grab some silver when I went flying around. Uh, it's surprisingly, the little A1100 is surprisingly power efficient when you're just coasting. So, that said, uh, we have this here. I gotta put more things in, like a shower some stuff but we've got things we're doing things all containers for type tools are full how can they be full mm, oh right because we decided to make uh, several thousand rounds of ammunition because we're gearing up for war I should probably fix that then mm, we'll get around to it anyway uh, we're down to 25,000 sulfur we had 150,000 at one point this is all full of ammo. And then uh, production has been expanded. We've got two of everything. In some cases, three. But two of everything. Wire drawers and everything else. All the fun stuff. Plate stamps and... Hey, hey, welcome in. we got catwalks up. We've got stuff for everywhere, for everything, and we've got all the stuff, everything except the nano assembler. And then, like, 
this uranium centrifuge. Like, the processing stuff, we're not there yet. But for manufacturing, we've got everything set up. We've even got the advanced assembler, which is fun. Because it means we can make all the fun stuff now, like finally power cells, which I think we're still breaking down some of like the 5,000 of those we had, because we have way more than we need. I heard Cax walk up looking for a key. <laughs> Wrong kind of catwalks. Cat. Catwalk one word. We can make reactor components. Uh, we can make laser emitters, which are good, because we, we can do those. They just need some lithium paste. So I went and bought some lithium paste from the ITC. Um, we can't make laser amplifiers, so we can't make the building repairs, because those require crystal prisms. So we have to get a crate for those. Uh, we can't make high-density cores, because we need platinum is annoying and we can't buy that i checked every store i could sneak my way into on the entire damn planet no platinum for sale anymore so uh we can buy dorium though you know so we could make reinforced drill tooths if we were interested in it uh we can not make the superconducting electromagnets because we need tantalum which means we have to go to the asteroid field for uh and we can't make no, actually no if you take that we can make token mac blanket plates we can buy the dorium needed for that. Same thing with lithium paste. Yeah, so I, my understanding is you can jumpstart things in areas at war even if you don't meet the threat requirements if you're aggressive enough. So if you build things enough, which means you have to have physical static grids because MBS doesn't count mobile grids for that, uh, for your threat score to go up like I did here, eventually things will start happening, or you can just start fighting people. And theoretically, that should also trigger things, so if you want to do, like, full mobile base, that's doable. And I... I can understand the temptation for that. I'm not gonna lie. After after working on my little side project the last couple days, I, uh, I understand the joy in that, and maybe I'll do a, a different plan to start and do exactly that, go full mobile. But... We have things. I don't think anything else has been added. Nope. Nope, just that. So, I cranked munitions manufacturer way up. Because we need we need the guns. We need the shooty shoots. And this is this is the food one? Yeah, alright, so let's make some changes here. Let's add food to the sh to the to the food. Let's let's add food to the food. Let's add ammo to the food. Storage. What did I name you? Bunker am yeah, so this is cargo pad food. Bunker ammo and tool storage. Okay. So if I go to food and just do uh this that should count as tagging for Izzy's, I believe. We should see that update here next time it iterates through itself. We should be good. Yep, there we go. The extra space just popped up, so it is recognizing the tools and ammo tags. So, I mean, we'll still cap that out. We still need to actually make additional storage for the ammunition, but we'll get there. We'll probably just draw it out across the floor. Uh, underneath here, there's an emergency hydrogen tank. Let's see if I can get... Uh... No, I can't get build, build, build Vision to pop it up. But there's a hydrogen tank under here. Um, I need to sink another a gasoline tank and a rocket fuel tank under there as well. At some point. But that's, that's a future project, just in case things go really horribly bad. Because there's a possibility that I can't deal enough damage to the GC to curb their aggression fast enough. And we're just going to have to deal with the results of that. So, uh, for today, we're focusing on blowing up the local GC offices. And by local GC offices today, what I mean is the two mines they have. So, let's see. We've got this. You know what? Let's grab a rocket launcher. Let's grab some burgers, just so we have them. We got some some tea. 
Let's grab a rocket launcher, even though these are kind of garbage. Because they're not guided and everything avoids them. I tried. I tried shooting drones. So many drones, and they just look like, nope, poop, juked. So we really need to upgrade to the PRO-1s. The problem is, PRO-1s... Need lithium, I think, don't they? Oh, they don't, or uh, they don't need uh, platinum. Okay. What are we missing? Why is none of this stuff working? Silver. Oh, we need silver. Of course we need silver. Of course. We need. Of course. Uh, we need a good deal with that. We might load up the stuff into a into an A1 and uh, go fly it around. But we're gonna make, we're gonna make better rocket launchers first. So see, this is still just assembling lithium, additional lithium cells to get us the lithium paste, so we don't have to keep buying it because it doesn't get expensive. Though that said, uh, where do I see? Ah, oh, here we go. We have some money. Turns out, uh, if you just load up your ship. If you load up your personal inventory full of refined polymer and you can sell it to the ITC for a, a lot of money. Post a pic of the wreck of my ship. Oh no, I'm going to take a look at that. Oh, that is a wreck. That is a wreck. But that also makes it a reef. It's a future reef. That's the important part. All right. Let's get this up. Let's load it. Facing away from the base. Safety. Okay. And you know what? We're also going to drag our binoculars onto this one, too. Cool. All right. Uh, if you just do a refresh, it should work. Yeah, exactly. You still won the battle. Also, using a gyro in front of this for for armor is hilariously effective. Now, see, we're currently locked. You're going to unlock, and we're going to automatically... Thanks for the VIC controller. Reset all of our stuff. So we got ammo loaded up. We're good. Uh, we're going to leave the... You know what I didn't do? No, we want we want we want back. We want backwards thrusters. We want these into a separate group. Or is it forwards we want? We want forwards. Because it talks it's the direction they're facing, right? Oh wait, no, I've got, I've got cruise and anti-cruise. Okay, I just need to put them on my bar. There we go. Now, we want to automatically stop our flight. Here we go. So we can, we can cruise now. So let's go ahead, turn uh, the two mines on. Let's go for the lithium mine first. And I'll tell a story. That's fine. I appreciate the viewership either way. So, <clears throat> the coal mine. That's not a, a GPS. That's a, that's a signal. I've got an antenna blasting 20 kilometers of range. Because the GC blew up my coal mine four damn times. 
and I got tired of it. I got real damn tired of it. So I rebuilt it. And the fourth time I rebuilt it, <laughs> I just put a shit ton of assault cannons on it. <laughs> I'm just like, we're done with this. Uh, assault cannons. All the assault cannons. And, and cargo storage for it, and an antenna, and cameras, so I can remotely access it and view it. Uh, and make sure that it's got, you know, ammunition stocked and just resupplies out to it as necessary. All right, so we are 2.4 kilometers out. Let's see, that's rear. This is the one that I want here. Actually, no, it's not. This is the one I want. Oh, no, it's not. Ugh. There we go. Just going to fly a little bit closer until it zones in. It will probably spawn drones, so we need to stay out of range of any guns that might be here. Bait the drones into spawning. Go deal with the drones. At least there should be a mining station here. Unless the FAF came in when I wasn't paying attention and blew it up? I saw they had some stuff fly over here, but I didn't see any news stories about them blowing up a mine. Okay. Uh, let's fly in, and we'll just be prepared to kick on the hydras and fly away really quickly if we have to. I feel like this base is still here, it just didn't spawn in. Maybe the base spawning's broken? Because I know I had set a waypoint like it was here. I took a pot shot at it in the 1A when I came past. Did I get lucky and that shot blew something up important so it won't respawn? Maybe. I definitely flew far enough away for voxel voxel uh, deformation to reset. Since I didn't have anything near here, it would have. But uh, I don't trust this. We don't have a drill on us, so I don't trust this. So what we're gonna do? is uh, we're going to go to the other mine because that's 12 kilometers away. We should have enough battery life to fly there, dogfight, deal with that, and come back here, I believe. Because we don't have generators on the Evil Weevil. It's not really designed to, to operate far from, far from base. Eventually, we'll have a base that tr carries it, so it won't matter. And we'll see what happens. All right? Because again, I don't, I don't trust that. There should be something there. Nose up a little bit. To make sure we're clear in the group. Oh, wrong button. I was on the wrong hot bar. I accidentally hit the kill switch button. It's almost as bad as constantly turning off the dampeners in, in the 1A. Or 
the A A1 AI. What if I named that thing? The the industrial skiff. Oh, I hope flying across the globe didn't break the spawns. And that would be not fun. I mean, we would get free mines, right? And we would take advantage of it. But it would feel a little a little cheaty. So Uh, there is a river here. You can see from the, the areas of warm out. Like we could come up through there. We're just we'd have to go around the long way. Okay, so that one spawned. So let's turn on our brakes. What are we looking at here? We've got AT rounds, which means we've got. I need to start getting them to, on top of this thing. For the assault cannons and small grid, we're looking at 1.5 kilometer max arc. And we're going to have a lot heavier arc because we're running HE rounds rather than regular. So we can't hit this yet. We can target it. says out of weapon range there. And I don't know if this actually has any defensive guns on it. I think it's got like interior turrets and gatlings. I don't see any big stuff. So I'm not too concerned. Though if we take an explosive round, it might be a problem. And first time I fire... It's going to call in defensive drones. Can I get close enough to get a round off on it? There we go. Alright. Oh. oh, they're coming in. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, I heard that cannon. Oh, they're shooting. Okay. Oh, that's too much. Yep. They landed. They came in right on top of me, and I was not expecting that. Missed with that shot. Bad times. I got a Gatling gun down already. Pretty sure we got a battery dead. It's fine, let's get some hydropower in. There we go. One down. Okay, that's down. Who's got this guy left now? I don't have enough Atmo thrust facing forwards to deal with. Let's see, we go this way. Uh, I think one of my. Nope, they're both still up. Okay. I just only saw the trail fire from one. Oh, uh, because they're desynced. Okay. Oh, nope. Took shots there. Let them get too close. That's not the thing I want. I want the actual ship itself. So I don't have enough forward-facing Atmo thrusters to, uh, to keep me from sinking. But I have enough hydrogen. So as long as I'm sparing with the hydrogen, we're fine. Nope, missed. Also, we're three kilometers up.
he can't really get to us too well here. Oh, that got a hit. I have no idea how many of my guns are down. I really need to set up like a damage monitoring script to let me know when all of my guns are down. Because he's got some serious mad drift. That's a miss, though. Mm, maybe he can't recover off that. Let's kill our Hydros. Where is... Let's roll ourselves right back up. Oh, they're drifting. That's fine. They can drift all they want. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to fly close enough for our assault cannon to dump on him some. We got some some rounds left. We might not be able to refuel it. I'm just going to drop our height some. This to be my guns making that noise. We've got hover. Oh, that's so loud. Okay. What do we got going on for damage? Functional, functional, minor damage. Mm, lost a gun entirely. That one still works. That one still works. That's still there. That's still there. These are all of my turrets are still up and running. That's the important part. You know what, I'm fine with that. Let's turn off the projector, though, so we can actually see what we're doing. Alright, so... Oh, no. There we go. We've got autosaves on, because of Steam being Steam recently. Uh, and just not wanting to, to deal with that garbage. But, there we go. Okay, so, mm, this one? Yeah. And we're just going to baby this down, because we drop fast. Pretty sure some of the yellow that we see on the, the port side of the ship is vertical lift thrust that's been taken out. So we're just gonna we're gonna do this for right now. But this mine is down. Which means we can claim this area as our own. Only see in white, which means there's no more do I have do I not have more lights in this? I thought I had more lights. Oh, I do. Why are they? Hang on a second. Why are all my lights off? Oh, no, they're on. It's just some of them are damaged. Okay. That's fine. Let's just uh, bring this in nice and gentle. Not burn more hydrogen than we need to. Okay, parking's engaged. Uh, let's shut that down. Let's get this back on. It'll run off battery, which is all we need for right now. Let's see, are there any people around? No. Cool. Let's get some repairs. At least to the functional stuff. We'll take it past the welding wall when we get home, and I uh, won't have to worry about it that way. But I would very much like to get the functional pieces back up and running. And then we'll 
we'll just throw the extra stuff. So much scrap metal. Haha, <laughs> Clank Cola. You know what that means? It means there was people here and we blew them up. Okay, they're going past. They're not coming here yet. But again, my question comes back to, is there actually... No, I'm stuck. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> um. literally stuck. I can't turn on my jetpack because I can't stand up. These aren't moving. There we go. Made the ship jump. Was enough. Alright. Uh, let's just get things repaired. Not going to be enough armored glass to make a difference there. Oh yeah, it absolutely had some damage done to some thrusters. Not a whole lot. Less than I expected, honestly. I mean, you can say that all you want. I still blew up, blew up your stuff, my guy. Like, there's clearly a fire here. I don't know what to tell you. This is why the GC will lose. The number of drones they use that are mindless. There's a bed. It's not powered. Is there anything in it? Nope. Now that said... I don't see any markers for there being ore here. Oh, <gasps> there is someone. It's a person. That's fine. Nope. Nope, you got me a couple times. Come on. Alright, fighting with a jetpack is harder than it seems. I, uh, mildly regret swapping to this rifle from my pistol, because my pistol uh, would have had this guy dead by now. That said, their aim is terrible, and they've got a weak weapon. Okay, you know what? We're doing it this way instead.
wow, really? He he actually got a hit on my my cockpit. Look at that. Okay, where where is? Uh... Oh, that must be one of the pilots from one of the drones, because that looks like drone wreckage there. Ahead of us. That's absolutely drone wreckage. Oh, come on, really? Where did they come from? Have they been there this whole time? Is, no, that's not them. That was They got different numbers. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, we want the gunship first. Because I can do dumb things with the drones if I have to without hydrogen. I cannot do any such thing with this guy, though. Uh, and here's where we blow up the batteries. Alright, we, we may just need to abandon this. Because I don't know that I can... do this without hydrogen. Yeah, because we're going down. We're not going up. We're going down faster. I am. I'm out of thrust. We must have taken a hit somewhere important. That's unfortunate. Let's see, we need... Okay, we stopped our downward spiral. They're still chasing us. Let's just give full thrust up and forwards and see if we, if we can get back above them, our guns can re-engage. And that's the important part. Because they've got different names than those other guys, so that was spawned additional people. There we go. That was a good hit. Oh, I slowed down too much. Nope. Bad times. Double bad times. Oh, we might lose the ship. That's a lot of gunfire in my way. We're still faster in a straight line. It's got to get above 70. Mm, we're going down. We're losing... We're losing height. We're going going down. Oh, 20 meters a second. We're pulling away. Is it going to be fast enough to matter? I don't think so. Up. Up. No, we lost too many engines. We're not going to make it. And there we go. We're still mobile. Now we're not. Now we run. <laughs> okay, so. The gun how did the gunship catch us? That that did How did the gunship catch us? We're faster than him. We were doing the speed limit of the game. <sighs> That's fine. We'll make another one. We'll come back. We took out their mine, and that's the important part. And then, uh, you know, we were we were down resources. 
we were we were pretty much out of hydrogen, and that just didn't work. I should have just kept the uh, kept the thrusters on full, and just dragged them back this way. That's fine. Yeah, surprise gunship out of nowhere. That didn't work well. The Evil Weevil's built like an American muscle car. It's got it in a straight line. But it's not super agile. We're gonna drink that clean coal we stole from the dead guy. this opportunity. Yeah. See? Assault cannons. And, uh... In case you were wondering how mad I was about them blowing up my coal mine, the defensive AI unit that's designed to make it so that enemies are locked on has a name it has for a reason. That also the assault cannons are snap, crackle, and pop. So there's that. Alright, so didn't really change any, I mean, increase their aggression, didn't change their production strength or their total capacity. So I feel like either that didn't count as us killing off that mine, or the mine didn't actually have any value, which is a possibility, I suppose. Uh, let's see, let's, let's do this the lazy sucky way. Oh. this down, and then we'll do another one, and then we'll do another one. You don't need to weld up the top parts because we're not actually doing anything with these other than just enough to make them work. Yeah. Yep. Nope. Turn off the jetpack before we run out of fuel and crash land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the proof of concept works as long as I'm not a terrible pilot and do dumb things with it. And to be fair, that first one, that first, uh, that first group of drones, we had zero problems with. We took very little damage mostly cosmetic, and we killed them all, which was the point. So we want to uh, detach that, add a small head to it, and then we'll put on our projector here. Out from there. 
projector. This is the one we want. Blueprint. Uh, we want the evil weevil. This one. Uh, I'm going to tell it to you. Keep the projection. We're going to run down here now and we'll do some manual placement of things to get this aim where it needs to go. Yes, this is a terrible, terrible way of doing this. Uh, but I'm lazy and don't care. Okay, so there's that, that's locked. And then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna move this until it's where we want it to be. So let's do, let's try a roll. And I actually was almost right the first time. I'm gonna drag this back, uh, do some vertical offset. Vertical for some reason the sideways. That's almost in line. Tell you what, let's let's uh, let's put this back this way, and then we'll just put another welder on because that'll that'll get us where we need it to go. Uh, we need it to spin it around the other way though. No, yeah, we need to spin it around the other way. So let's try. Yaw? Yeah, okay. Oh crap, now I gotta fix this again. Uh, we'll start there. We'll slide this back over. And what we'll do is we'll just. Actually, let's drop that down a little more. Drop it down in the middle. Yeah, that looks good. And we'll just put another well drop. That's the wrong size. One, two, three. So the basic premise <clears throat> to a welding wall is you have a wall of welders. And you start off with your blueprint shoved through the wall of welders so that as a piston extends out slowly, it backs it out, kind of like a 3D printing resin extruder, and then it only prints the blocks that are ahead of the welding heads. And if you've built your ship right and set it correctly into the welding wall, it should have something to build off of pretty easily. And then what we'll do is we'll just take and put like some some throwaway blocks. Again, not entirely unlike resin printing. Um, and we'll just build ourselves a path down. Right, so rather than doing that, let's... Do I have... Do I have... Yeah, here we go. Uh, we want... I'll just all that. Let's grab a whole bunch of girder blocks. Because you have to build from the same grid that the the projector starts on. There's mods, there's there's plugins that alter that, uh, but they're also potentially a giant pain in the ass. So right, let's see, what of the back of this ship? a flat enough space we can anchor one of these blocks to. Do I have a flat spot on the back of the weevil? This could be a problem if I don't have a flat spot. I mean, we could fake it, right? Like, we could shove a block in there anyway and then pretend like we do and then just fix it after we chop it free from the wall. So glad that I had this turned off. So I just backed into it, and that would have been bad. Would have welded myself. Which, yes, can very quickly kill you with large grid welders. Alright, so. What if we do. There we go. That works. So this gets us a block first built. 
let's go over here. Okay, so. Turn them all on. We're just going to let this build until it's built. And in fact, let's make some changes here. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Nope. Nope, this one, yeah. Show only buildable, but highlight. So this should make this a little bit less annoying to see what, what's going on. So it's only going to show the blocks and the projection that we could build. So we can see what exactly it can build. I mean, obviously the stuff that's got like a spot stuck inside the welders, it's not going to. But the rest of it will. And actually, let's make sure that let's make sure that all of these are set to actually uh, use conveyors. So I had an issue earlier where some of them were set to not use the conveyors. They're all on, they're all using the bears. That's the important part. I'm just going to sit up here on top. Make the watch. As it builds. It's slow. We've got a low, slim, a low sim speed right now. All right, uh, let's it's going to go out half a meter at a time. Uh, small grid blocks are half a meter to a side. So theoretically, while we do have a max distance of two and a half meters that these large grid welders will weld out in front of them because they'll weld one block. Uh, sometimes, you know, again, because they're circles, right, you get some weird overlap stuff. Sometimes you need to be able to go back and weld something in the back. Uh, it's just better if you don't have to worry about it. So we're just going to do it slowly one bit at a time. I could set this up so that the piston extends out slow enough to not have any issues. But I've had issues with this well wall because I set it up poorly in the first place. And I don't want to risk it. That said, maybe I will pull up a light armor version of this. And we'll retrofit that with AI blocks. All right, because that way it's not that big a deal. If we lose the controlling block, it's not it's not a big problem. We can remove the cockpit and put extra armor in. We can remove the rail guns from the front. We can replace the salt cannon on the front with another Gatling turret. That actually wouldn't be a bad way to go. And then we can just have them set to follow us as the leader until we get in range to combat, and then they can split off and do their fighting thing. There we go. As long as the large thrusters are being welded, that was my concern, uh, and where we had issues the last time I printed that that weevil with the shell on it. Because that weevil was not the same one I built on that deck. That one I cut down for parts and then reprinted it from the fresh blueprint. So... Uh, that said, there is some stuff here that's not sitting quite right, but we'll see how this goes. Yep. Alright, let's turn off... Highlight blocks. Because this should get us a little bit more sim speed back. Not by much. Got us some. Let's 
getting mildly violent. Slightly concerned about that. That means it built something which then got wedged in between. Welder heads. So we'll see how this goes. It shouldn't explode. It might. I haven't had one explode on me yet. Something definitely got stuck there. Though. Yo, I might get to watch a 50,000 credit clone caused by a welder wall explosion. Which would be hilarious. I guess theoretically I could have spun it sideways and built it from the top down. That also would have worked. If this doesn't work, we'll try that next. Explosions can be fun. But also, I've not gone through and tuned this at all. Like, it's, it really needs to be tuned. And I haven't done that. So, hey look, we're, we're sliding free finally. Yeah, there's a couple blocks that didn't get built. I should be able to get those... It might be kind of iffy. Oh, I know what it is. I know what the problem is. <laughs> Uh, I blueprint this with the thrusters on. So it's fighting itself. It's 100% what the problem was. It was fighting, it was trying to stay in place because I was a dummy. Alright. I grabbed those, but I didn't actually grab their. Oh, I thought I grabbed those, maybe I didn't grab them. Come on. Okay, this is being a pain in my butt. Now we can actually add it to the build plane. Is there anything major that's buried deep inside? Not really. Okay, this is this is all doable stuff. We'll just hover in place once the uh, the flight seat's finished and let it weld up the rest of that because none of that is. Super deep, that thruster kind of is. I can see it, but I can't tag it. And I don't know that we can get that from... Uh, I don't know that we can get that from... Uh, from just hovering at the wall. I can finish a sentence. There we go. Okay, this is just the plates, and that's something we can definitely get that from inside. Okay. So let's go back here. Uh, let's finish another sale.
I know a lot of people do things like using uh, supported pistons instead, or they will set it up so it only goes out so far at a time on timers. And then it prevents these issues. Uh, but we're lazy. And so that's not happening. That said, it got damn near all of it. So I'll take that. Because then this should be... Can't see what it is. We'll just get it from the wall. It'll be fine. Oh, there's no control. That's what it was. Okay. Oh. Out of hydrogen. Hovered in place too long. Finished, so we'll just run this one out. A really nicely tuned wall can get going really damn fast. And I think if I had to reprint this again, I would start. flat and sideways. So if. if If, if I'm facing the way the ship is here, right, so forward is forwards, we'd be like this. Towards the wall. And start from the back, and or the top, and build our way down. I think that'd be the better way to do it. That said, uh, let's get in here. Turn our things on. Turn off the dampeners. Ugh, so much sway. There we go. And now he's got our burgers back. Clean up your sprues whenever you 3D print. Okay. Uh, we'll deposit these things. We will hop back in here. I don't have... Hang on, I need to get fuel. I don't have, it, it can't support itself on, his, on the battery alone. But with at least one of the reactors, it's not a problem. No. What? We, no. No. Why? Why are you this way? Because I probably told it not to turn on or not to use the conveyor system. Okay. So we're up. We're drifty. We're there. Okay. I feel really slow. Because most of my gyros didn't turn back on. That'll do it. Even though all these should be on now. Maybe I don't have the gyros set and the... I probably don't have the gyros set of the on-off. Oh yeah, so much better. Okay, and 
now we can back up. Uh, and let's come in here. We got our projector on you. Okay. What are we missing for parts? Just those bottom pieces of armor? Good enough. Just do uh, one, two, three, four. It's just armor plates, right? Yeah, just grab some armor plates. Did I not just pick up a whole bunch of armor plates? Oh, because I threw them back into the damn welder like an idiot. And that'll do it. Make sure you're putting stuff where you think you're putting it. Come on. Let me let me do the thing. There we go. Okay. So maybe this time we won't underestimate the GC sending more drones out. We'll go back. We'll clean up the mess we left. Did I not pick up? <sighs> Come on, I know I got him here on a thing already. Do I not? Yes, I do. Thank you. I'm just going to take a whole bunch at once of unnecessary parts because with the sim speed being below max, we're not in a great spot. Okay. So if we come in here, everything should be on and running. We've got some stuff that's still damaged. Why do I have tanks that are off? That makes no sense. Okay, so they're set to fill. One of this is off. One of this is still damaged. Oh, damn it. This is a pain in the ass to get into to weld. Alright, let's see if we can wedge our face into the welder wall. I gotta turn the welder wall back on. To be fair, this was never something that was built with the intent to throw it through a wall. So, uh, if we just go nose up into it. Okay, we're good. Let's go over here. We'll dock up. We'll get reloaded in the process. We'll get loaded up with explosives and hydrogen, and then we'll head off. And I'll fix the the other uh, reactor while we're at it. I feel like something else is still off, but that's fine. We'll, we'll deal with it as we get to it. Okay. So that's done. We're filling our hydrogen. The reactors are on and running. We're getting ammo. Ammo's funneling in. You can see it pop up there. Turn off that stuff. Okay, we're 100% hydrogen now.
All right, let's drop off these these extra parts we got that we don't need. We'll grab a fresh hydrogen bottle. We will grab a drill. To at least have one. You know what? Screw it. Load this up. Painted. Glorious. Alright, we got those on. When we unlock, everything should come back on automatically. Yes. Turn that off because we don't need it right now. We'll put those off. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't fix it so that. So let's no. Battery's not recharged, so we're going to be pulling a lot of power on it until the. Wait, that was the right one. I had it set up after all. Oh, I feel bad. Okay, anyway. We got stuff. Let's go shoot this dude. Because why not? He's a GC piece of shit we're going to blow him up to. Oh, that was a hit. There's pieces falling down. I know it's hard to see, but there's pieces falling down. 50% uh, charge. I really need to put a charge meter on here somewhere. It's fine. Oh! That was a fast recharge. This recharge is faster than I thought it did. Asynchronous firing, but just as effective. There we go. Salt cannons taking some shots on the drones themselves. Come on, finish locking. We're just going to stay in reverse the full time. We're not going to let off this time. Okay, maybe we're going to let off a little bit because we're, we're out distancing him pretty hard.
We're at the limit of our Atmos. That's the problem. Okay. Figured it out. Mm, that was missed, unfortunately. Come on. Blow up already. Come on. My concern is that we're backing up to a mountain. So the one and a half kilos up we are is going to rapidly disappear. Are we seriously out of ammo? Oh, we undershot that. I'm so mad. All right, so the answer is we didn't have enough ammo. <laughs> All right, let's go reload. Now the Gatling guns still have some. Okay. Not a whole lot, but they do. No, let's not let's not do that. I want to roll my belly to him, but that's gonna result in us crashing into the mountain. And I don't want to do that. So we'll just load up extra ammo this next time. That'd be fine. He's back there somewhere. Oh, yeah. We're fine. All right. So we got all of our thrusters on, so we will slow down, just not super fast, because I did sacrifice some of the forward-facing thrust, just enough to keep us moving against the speed gap. We don't slow down too terribly fast front ways. There we go. And now our assault cannons are opening up. Warden Kynan and Big B and I think Autoluke is the other one. Yep, yeah, there we go. Blew it up. Drop back in. Which way am I rolling? That way. Alright. Let's take a look at what we got configured here. We need to change this up some. We need more ammo than we have. Oh, that's that's nowhere near enough. What was I thinking there? We need we need ammo. And then railgun rounds is Let's, let's double that. In fact, let's just do a big increase on ammo across the board. Do our ship only. Make sure we got what we're supposed to. All right, I've got parachute hatches. Fuck, I forgot about that. We wouldn't have crashed. I buried parachutes in this thing precisely so what happened wouldn't happen. We could just touch down. Where? 
Why is this not getting loaded up? <sighs> so we don't need light turret magazines. That's for interior guns that we're not using anyway. Uh, we need assault cannon rounds. We need more Gatling ammo. Why is the unused one the one that's got? Okay. Alright, we're at cap on that that way, so we can't do the full amount, but we can drag things in. So let's get our assault rounds. We can put some stuff in. Ah, oh, there's still stuff missing. Damn it. It's fine. We'll just do it this way. We'll do it the old fashioned way. You can't fire mushrooms from a Gatling gun. So goose. Okay, so the Gatling's on board, we're all full. The turrets are all full. We've got an extra 300 rounds there. Let's take 26 back. We've got our 50 assault cannon shells. Let's go with... Uh, That, then we got rail guns. Those are full. But now we need to go into, let's see, I guess the connector. I'm just gonna throw the extra rounds in the connector. Yeah, why not? That works. What's going on with our, uh, our munitions manufacturing? Okay, it's getting worked on. Just not as fast as I want it to be. Which means we just need to change our quotas. That works. Okay, so there's that. Uh, let's unlock, let's not burn that, we are mobile, and now we head off. Alright, so we're going to go back to the magnesium mine. I want to see if there actually is ore there. Because it had kind of a whitish tint to the sand, but I don't know if that's just the terrain, or if that's just because like industrial overall has an issue of the way that they've registered their ore textures, the order they've done it in. It hits the texture cap for voxels before it actually gets to rendering all of them. The space engineers has in the current engine, so. Uh, sometimes you don't actually see a voxel. Why are there bullet holes there already? Oh, right, because we did get shot. Okay, that's, that's, that's just a little bit. That's not a whole lot. We're fine with that. No one cares. That's okay. We'll just keep going.
That said, until we take out that GC base, they're going to keep flying over here. So we can't really, like, do a deep, a deep build up there either way, unless we're going to make it. one of those those <clears throat> outposts like the coal mine, which eventually we may do with every single one of our outposts. Like that that may just be a thing that happens. Okay, so there's drone remains. We are there-ish. I think that's us. I'll see what pops in here, if anything. There's pieces everywhere. Everywhere are pieces. If this doesn't respawn, then we did successfully take care of it. Because we flew far enough away, it would have despawned, and it will respawn if it's still classified as valid. Uh, let's slow down. We're close enough we should have spawned, but maybe we didn't. We should be good. So, let's bring it in nice and easy then. Get close enough to hit it with my... Yeah, because all the, the sub-pieces despawned. They got cleaned up. We'll get down low enough to be able to hit it with our, our drill. And see what comes of it. Niter. Okay. So that is an alternative to the existing Niter mine we have. So this was replaced. This just got the wrong icon on it. So let's go ahead and delete Corpo Magmine. And we'll just do a new one from current position. And we'll go uh, former GC Niter mine. Fromer. Okay. So there's that. Then we'll just turn that off. Let's go back to the lithium mine. Because again, I did take like a pot shot at it when I went flying past it previously. Oh, there's my ship. It's the old weevil. Oh, look, drones. Drones spawning. Yeah, that, that's a that's a drone orbital insertion point. Okay, so we need to be careful here because they're going to open fire on us any moment. N98 is already headed our way. Let's get some vertical heights and just burn. doing this at night and we immediately lose God, why do we start losing as soon as I turn around not a fan of this it's fine we'll do it this way Like, worst case scenario, 
we'll pop the hydrogens on, we'll go battle mode, and we'll wipe them, and then we'll just go back and refuel. You know what? Screw it. Now we got lift and height. Where's the one that's closest? This one. This piece of shit. Come here, drone. There we go. Corpo trash. I am upside down. Let's fix that. <clears throat> it's important to pay attention to your horizon. At night, you can't see where the hell you're going. So please read your instrumentation clusters. This is a really important part of any night flight. Alright, you know what? Screw this. Let's just take them back to Port Mordor. Oh, beautiful shot. Look at that. Look at that beautiful shot. I don't want that. I want this. I want the main ship, not the little piece of crap. We're missing an armor plate, but that's fine. No, little high. That's fine. Uh, let's turn this back off and drift our way down. They're still chasing us. They're not too terribly fast, though. Ugh, what the hell was that? Was that me? Was that them shooting me? That was the assault cannon bouncing around off my underside. That's what that was. I just saw it happen in the replay. That's fine. I mean, worst case scenario, we could just face plant into the water and just skim across it in. There's no impact damage for, for water landings. That was the assault cannon getting spicy. Not a chance in hell. Oh! That almost hit. That's upsetting on so many levels. They're over the water right now. We are a kilo from Port Mordor. Let's keep backing up. Draw them in. I don't want to get too far ahead of them. If I break two and a half kilometers, there's a chance they'll break off, and I don't want that. The assault cannon just nailed that one, though. Missed that. That hit. Gatlin's are getting some work in. Nope. Missed with that. Let's kick the power thrusters on. Just burn in over the base. We'll take a trip past the welding wall when we're done. Let's not fly directly through the raining fire from, uh... Terrence? I think that's Terrence. Oh, no, Bertha. That's Big Bertha. Terrence is the new one. E Come on. Slow down. There we go. Mm. Yeah. Nope. 750. I think that means we qualified as killing the gunship? I could let the Weldy Boys out, but I'm not going to. At some point, I should probably go collect the fuel they dropped, though. 
Okay. Uh, let's kill that. Let's go do a quick reload. Yeah, we didn't get off too bad with that. And we'll go visit the lithium mine again. There's pieces, pieces of that ship all over the place. Nope, not the power lines. I'm out of, I'm out of hydrogen. No, that must have been, that must have been them because uh, my rear camera's gone. So if we come in gently, if we line up. Oh, both my gear are dead. Okay. Uh, let's... Let's get this... It's actually not too terribly bad. Let's get a steel plate. Prepare this so I can refuel. And then uh, we'll go take a pass through the welding wall. Uh, we gotta go rear camera, throw this back here, because of course we do. Oh, wait, hang on. My connector's busted. We gotta fix that first. Which I suppose I should be. No, wait, we had we had railgun saber rounds in here. I was gonna be like, if they had blown that open, that wouldn't have been great. But actually it wouldn't have mattered, because railgun sabos are inert, and they don't explode, unlike the assault cannon rounds, which will go up in a glorious explosion of death. Off is turned off. I might re blueprint this. Oh, most of my Atmos, my, my front facing Atmos are dead. Let's, let's just fix some things here. There we go. Uh, we'll come in, we'll lock. We'll kill everything. Let it refill. Power it back on. That should forcibly reset the full power cycle for everything. Uh, do we have any gyros that are busted up? Yeah, they're all still functioning. Cool. How are we going to ammo? Salt cannon could use a little bit more, but we got some here, so that's fine. We definitely need some more gallons. Because we're not full yet. Here. There we go. And then that's all done. Let's go ahead and unlock. Take a trip past the welding wall. We're going to uh, Tokyo Drift past the welding wall. Go up a little bit. And we'll just scrape the side all the way down. Sounds are muffled, thanks to being inside a cockpit.
probably everything now. Not at all, but it's all the stuff in the middle we can't easily get. So let's see. Let's replace the missing armor. This is all armor plates. Let's grab some armor plates. Over here, we will tell these to come back in so they're not sticking way out for no reason. Looking absolutely ridiculous because I'm terrible. We'll just weld these up ourselves. That's all it is, just armor plates. So. plates. That gear is gone. This gear is gone. This is the, the stuff that sticks out, right, that you can't easily hide. The one steel plate. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Since we have this done, we're just going to re blueprint this with everything on and running. We're going to rename this and then re blueprint it. I think that was the name, the designation I had given it. There actually is some logic behind the name patterns. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. So that one's all purple now, and that's all done. So it'll print with everything except the hydrogen tanks feeding to it. So that works. Projector. Let's turn off highlight blocks because we don't need it right now, and we're going to tell it to copy the grid into the projector as fully built and fixed. Oh crap, it's misaligned. Damn it. Okay, let's do it a different way then. Uh, projector. Blueprints. Evil Evil. There we go. Now it's aligned. <laughs> okay. We got ammo reloaded. We got our hydrogen back. Let's head back to the lithium mine. Make sure it actually is gone. And then we'll figure out what else we're doing this turn. Because we, we definitely cannot solo the number of drones that comes from taking the fort down. I did a test of that in creative in the creative test world, which is got the GC far less angry at me than they are in the actual world. So theoretically, they'll throw more things at us. We need something better equipped to fight in that case, which either means uh, we spend time tuning AI. And get a whole bunch of little mini drones. By mini drones, I mean just more weevils. And we just go with like a, a locust swarm of weevils, a weevil swarm. A bowl of weevils? What's a group of weevils called? Oh, we'll go fly past, the, probably fly past the coal mine later. Definitely need more height. So let's turn off our excess lights. And we'll coast in over the mountain. Nope. That was the wrong thing. I 
That's what I meant to do. And hey, look, the sun's coming up. Because of course it is. Anyway, uh, I think we're just going to go past this at speed. Because there's no reason not to. Because I don't see anything down there. And yeah, the magnesium mine, we had to get within like 1.6. Googled in a group of weevils is called a swarm. It's kind of a boring name. rather unfortunate. Alright, so I don't see anything showing up. So let's uh, let's spin back around and we'll just drop down. I am like 99% sure we will have to build one of the armed mining outposts here. Because I'm pretty sure regular GC patrols go right over the spot. Really wish flying controls weren't analog. Okay. So... Yep, there's lithium. Uh, let's see. Former GC lithium mine. And we'll just get rid of the old one. So in every base, there is a control block. And if you blow up that block, then it removes ownership of the area and it counts it as the factions defeated for that. And for these little mines, it's not well protected at all. And, uh, yeah, that lithium's everywhere here. This is a huge patch of lithium. Like, this is so much lithium. I don't know how you would ever mine this normally. Outside of, like, a giant fuck you drill. Because this is huge. Like, the Weevil is 26, 25 meters long. And look how small it is compared to the rest of this. So we could set up, uh, let's see, the coal mine. We could set up the coal mine here that's got the armor, and then we're good. And I think we might. But we need parts for that. A group of maggots is called a grumble. Yeah, weevils need a better group name. Because that's BS. Alright, uh, let's get going. Let's go over to the coal mine. So I can show you guys what I did there, and then we'll go back and get parts and set up a lithium mine here. We don't really need the lithium, because we've had so many battery pieces from salvaged ships. Because the batteries, the, the battery components, the lithium power cells, tend to survive when ships crash against Port Mordor. So, you know, we had like 5,000 5, and some odd change. And I've just been, I've had one fabricator or one advanced uh, assembler just churning away. Trying to get us down to like 500 of them. Just the extra lithium paste. And we haven't, we haven't broken 3,000 remaining yet. We're still above that. So... I don't really know that we need the lithium mine. 
but I kind of feel like we should have it just on principle. Because then we'll have a nice little ring. Because we've already got the titanium pasta. So maybe what we'll do is we'll set up we'll set up like an armed we'll set up an arm mine and some some storage and maybe we'll run a secondary pipeline. No, I don't want to do more pipelines. You can see it from this far out still. Look at how pretty it is. It's bright orange. It's supposed to be painted with like um uh, like hazard stripes. But the problem with hazard stripes on beams is that they don't take the texture. So I don't know. I kind of feel like the number of static grids that we have to run the existing pipelines is starting to impact the, the sim speed, but maybe not. We're back up above one now. Ooh, wait a minute. Is, uh... Did it, did it finally despawn? Nope, the bridge is still there, and the wasted HQ is still there. Okay, never mind. So I don't know why sim speed's not garbage now. But it isn't. So, you know, there's that. Yeah, I just threw a whole bunch of parts into a into an A1 and just flew over here with it, just made it all. I was just like, screw it. I don't care about material efficiency. Okay. Uh, see, actually, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna leave everything on. Because it's not like... It matters about, uh... Yeah, so we've got, we've got some backup batteries. we got this cargo container, which is only used as to hold ammunition. So we'll have 648. We started off with 700 rounds. So we shot some things. Just not all the things. It's got a projector buried underneath it, so it can re be rebuilt easily. Uh, it's got three assault turrets on it. Uh, pop, crackle, crackle, and snap. Snap, crack, and pop. Let's look at the same power. Uh, this is kind of unnecessary, but it's there just because. Because I just said screw it and piped the coal from the mine directly into a coal generator, which then feeds a steam turbine. So, like, I don't know that we're ever going to need the amount of power we're producing here. But we produce a ton of power here. Like, this can produce up to 4 kilowatts, and then this is. 50 megawatts max, I think. Yeah, 50 megawatts max, right? So, like, 4 megawatts versus 50 doesn't matter. And it's infinite fuel because this. This block isn't painted, because if I paint this, then the entire tube goes. Then you got this big orange thing sticking out for almost a kilometer, and it looked bad. That said, we could. How much hydrogen do I have left? 60%, okay. We could run a secondary pipeline over here, and then down the cliff to the ocean, and use it for, like, a port. Because if you look at our map view, right, we've got, you know, Fish Lake does have access out to the ocean. And it's actually not that bad. Uh, at 40 meters a second, you know, it's like a 12 minute round trip down to Azuras. Which is really not that bad. Then you got to go back up and around all the way to get to... the GC base over here. If we had a refuel depot here, we could leave a ship parked here, and then it's a nice shorter travel. And the ship would have enough guns, it wouldn't matter. Right? Because if it can take down the GC base, drones that fly by aren't going to matter in the least. So I think that's ultimately the plan. And then we could just run a lot of coal down here. Or a lot of... Yeah, a lot of coal to here. This is where this actually is. Or... We could run it across the mountain 
and then to here. No, we'll do it to here. We'll just do a coal refueling spot because you can get down this river. Um, it just it takes time. So like maybe just having a port here wouldn't be a bad idea. Right? For easy, easy refueling. We could also instead let's see we want to go west. Uh piggyback a second connection here just straight down right and just bounce all the way down to, to the mouth of the river I don't know I don't know how I feel about it I haven't seen any naval ships yet I know that they have a navy but I don't know what it's comprised of like I imagine it's like a lot of smaller boats like little like patrol boats but I don't actually know. And until we know, I don't want to be all like, oh, we're just going to go do this. So, uh, there's this. Is there anything else we can, within easy shooting distance, we can go take shots at? There's a lithium mine there. Let's go take a look. We want to go from here. We go a little east of southeast. Around the north and eastern edge of this mountain range. There's a river there. We can follow that. And... We can follow the river down. We might find some new stuff, because I didn't travel that earlier. I traveled the southern road. So if you look where that magnesium mine blew up is, in the middle of all that purple garbage, I traveled the southern road past that lithium mine earlier, over to Sunset City. I didn't check the river out. So there may be something there that we didn't see before. So we're going to go check that out. Maybe we'll take a trip down to Sunset City, see if there's a fort there, because I really don't remember. Unless I put one on GPS, did I? Nope. Okay. So, we'll go take a look and see. And then that'll help us plan for future endeavors. I kind of want to shoot something, but I can't take on a base in this. <laughs> the number of drones it would spawn every time you attack it is too high. But I could get some fire support stuff going. Maybe we'll play with a drone. Maybe we'll play with making a drone in general, right? Something small and light, very quick to make, very easy to do. The lighter it is, the less we need to care about, you know, like fuel and things. Let's see. So here's the ocean. And that's going to be the river opening there. Because, let's see. There is our oil mine. Oh, you can see it. You can see the wind turbine. That's our oil sand mine. So, like, a port here also wouldn't be bad. Because then we could do, like petroleum based stuff there's options you know you can't burn rocket fuel for power to make steam you could do gasoline directly but you can't use gasoline to generate steam you could use nuclear reactors to generate steam you could do coal for steam you could do solar for steam Gasoline engines, at least on a small scale, on, a, on a, a small grid, gasoline engines aren't... Like, they're very efficient, but they're not very powerful. So, maybe we'll take a look and see about how large grid would scale up. We have two options available to us. For a possible port. Let's 
It's the fact that we can freely mine lithium now. Nah, there's no way my luck, my random shot dropped that entirely. Because I would have seen it go from red to white. I did damage to it, I know. But not that much. But... The, was it FAF, AFF, is the, the FAF, the Free Agorist Forces, they did, they did fly a patrol over that afterwards. So there's a possibility that between those two things, that finally dropped it. Because it did drop a message in a chat saying, you know, we've given up the... Yeah, they outposted an alert for launching the garrison, but nothing else. And it's, it's gone, gone. So... Uh, let's see, we're just going to follow the river to Sunset City. Well, no, we're going to follow it until it branches with the road. And then we're going to go take a look at that lithium mine. We might be able to clear it out now. And then maybe go to Sunset City. There's nothing really interesting there. The shops are mostly empty. The The lockdown, the, the martial law lockdown has their shops useless too. So we got some drone stuff coming in from up high. They're dropping in. Which means we need to get some distance from them if we want to have a fight with them. We must stand united. No. Report any suspicious activities. Yeah, there's some suspicious dudes here. Uh, W75, C88, V83. That's their... Their ship call signs. I'm pretty sure they're, they're drone ships. They seem really sketch. Super sus. They almost bounced off a mountain. I mean, we're at full power, so as long as they can stop us, they can't catch up to us. Not an Atmo. Okay, so this is on the map. This is the river crossing. Does not have a bridge. This is the non-bridge one. And then the Y. So we're going to turn this way over the mountain. Where are we flying over the mountain? These stairs go up. <clears throat> anyway, and there should be another lithium mine right over this. There's also supposedly some niter down there along the riverbank. Not that we need it. Because we've got an unoccupied and an active mine for that. As is. There it is. There's the mining outpost. See, what does this have? This does not have any big weapons. But it's going to call in some drone supports. Are those drones still chasing us? They absolutely are chasing us. There's no way they're not chasing us. They just flew over the top of the mountain to come after us. Oh, that's 1,000%. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's... Uh... Alright, get our rear thrusters back going again. Let's see if we can pop this guy early. We've got a five kilometer reach with these. 
I just don't have the ability to zoom, so I don't know how accurate I'm going to be with it. We got open ocean and then desert beyond for that, so I'm not too concerned. And I don't want the mining outpost to panic and call in reinforcements because we're skirmishing with these drones now. But his drone escorts are way back there, so if we're fast on this... Nope, undershot. Okay. That's fine, we can, we can keep going. Yep. Okay, that's a hit. Nice. We took out the control pant modules. So that counts as a, as a win. No, I overshot that. We just need to stay away from his guns. His guns are still automated. They're still functional. We just want to keep our speed high. We're going to try not to drop below 100 meters a second. Nope, undershot again. Yeah, I need to... I need to change things up, because this is not... The railguns are nice, and they're good for punching through things, but they do a lot of pierce damage. So maybe we'll swap them for assaults with high explosive rounds. Yes, it greatly reduces our maximum reach, but it gives us some options. And also, because the control, <laughs> the control module on that ship dropped, on that gunship, so the drones fell out of the sky. So I'm fine with that. Let's see if we can get some vertical height again. And then we'll take some pot shots at this mining outpost. Let's go this way. Because that way when we retreat we're heading back towards home. We're going to roll a little bit, let our vertical thrust cut down on the amount of drift we have. We don't have a whole lot of lateral thrust. We are a straight line straight line ship. Let's get some more vertical height again. Okay. Roll it to cut our vertical, or our horizontal drift. Right, let's try to have as little speed as possible. Take this shot. Wait a minute, that gunship's turned around and coming back. That piece of shit. Did the pilot get repairs made? That's fine. We got railguns. We're not moving now, and he's moving more or less at a straight line straight towards us. So theoretically, we don't have to be super accurate here. I don't think this targeting reticle properly accounts for drop, though. Nope, it does not. That's fine. Uh, he's coming in high. He's trying to keep keep like the dog fighting edge by staying high up. Mm, little high. All right, we're gonna do this.
because forwards and down are our two best engine power settings. No, he's just flying backwards. What? I'm so confused. Wait a minute, why does it say we have no ammo? Wait a minute. We are. We're out of assault rounds. Rip. Okay. So we got 2,000... How much Gatling ammo do we have? We just have like a stupid amount of Gatling ammo? We do have a stupid amount of Gatling ammo. That's fine. We're going to use that then. We'll just do we'll just do the the whiny Bert dance, and then be done with it. Maybe the gunship's on recall mode, right? Because we got credit for a control kill, but it's going up in a way. So maybe maybe we got credit and it's just an automated recovery mode. All right, let's. It wants us to aim a little up. This is the actual target. Yeah, we need to go up a little bit for drop. So let's see. What that does. It hits something. Where's the garrison? There it is. Okay, we got a drone. We got a drone. Where's the gunship? There should be a gunship in that. forwards and up thrust to get us moving faster up to speed because so we get to 100 pretty fast that way just the two drones okay well let's uh we don't want them to catch us too quickly we also don't want them to not catch us you know what i mean And they're small enough. I don't think I can, without the ability to zoom off a camera, I don't think I can actually hit them. So we're just going to do this. Nope, I slowed down too much. They're going to get close and get some hits in on me. We're going to aim up. It exposes our soft belly, but it also gets us going backwards faster. There we go. Let's try and hold around like 80 meters a second. They can gain on us that way. Maybe they can't gain on us. No, that one's crashing. <gasps> Oh, he just nosedived. He pulled it out at the very end. So he impacted, but maybe not enough to fully stall out. That gunship's still circling. That gunship's trying to come back. Yeah, I'm willing to bet it's intact on the ground. Every time we get those green X's, we're getting hits. Or blue X's. Green X's. Every time we get the blue X's, that's a hit. He's shooting at us, but he's missing. I mean, we're also doing, like, weird weeble wobble shit. And he's at the very edge of his range. We've got more guns, too. So, like...
We had to slow way down for him to be able to catch up to us. So, like, we're doing weeble wobble stuff, and we're at the edge of the end of the range, moving backwards. Oh, nope, he's falling out of the sky. Look at all that on fire. He pulled out. He's trying to ram. Nope. Go to hell. <laughs> He's way up high. We hit the ocean. Okay, well. Today we learned things, chat. The things we learned have largely been pay attention to your damn instruments. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait a minute, we're, we're like, we're on the right. No, we're, I was looking at the, uh, the altitude indicator for the angle backwards. And I was like, oh. I'm thrusting up. No, I'm thrusting down into the ocean. It's funny. You know what we'll do? <laughs> we'll just eat some rockets at this thing as we fly past. Do I have... Oh, we don't have the hydrogen to get home. Oh, no. Uh... Uh... We are 30 kilometers away. This is going to be an expensive reclone. So, that tells me we just need to make the most of it as we can. Is there anything in here that's irreplaceable? No, though losing the uh, the burgers. It's a waste of a burger. Alright, we gotta get within 800 meters for this rocket launcher to be effective. Which means if there's any guns here, they're going to have firing on me. Let's aim for the tanks. There's tanks here. I saw hydrogen tanks earlier. Right? Yep, yep, there's gunfire. There's turrets. Yep, there's a there's a tank right there. Alright, let's come in for a stop. We're outside all but the luckiest interior turret range. We're just gonna do some damage. We got rockets. We're almost out of hydrogen. We're gonna use them. There we go. Something decreased. Their strength decreased. Yeah. Anything else that's a turret? Not really. Let's aim for the actual marker. Maybe we can take out the control, the command block. We got one more shot. One shot of glory! Oh, <laughs> uh, 50,000 credit cloning fee. That, that hurts. That hurts so much. That's fun. Tell you what, let's... Let's get a hydrogen bomb. Yeah, yeah, it's pricey. Uh, it's capped. That's, that's why it is what it is. So we'll grab ourselves a drill, grab ourselves a grinder, grab ourselves a welder. We need, uh... You know, let's grab the, the, the crappy gun this time. And then we'll just grab, uh... I'll grab some more tea. Let's turn this back on. Is it? It is on. I just got to reset it. And we'll realign this. And uh, go from there. So let's turn these off. So we don't burn ourselves alive. Uh, projector. Turn off, show only buildable. How are we sitting on this? So let's let's rotate this around, right? Because I still think I think 
building it the other direction is probably the way to go. So that's sideways. Uh, pitch. Okay, that's the other way around. So we need to flip pitch 180 degrees. From negative 90 to positive 90. Yeah, okay. Now we're facing up. And then... Actually, no, let's do this different. Because this is the old blueprint. Let's load the new one. Evil Weevil. Okay. Let's try this again. So... Uh... Change the roll. Okay. Pitch. No, we won't. We won't. That's the yaw that needs to change. No. Maybe it was the roll. No. Oh, yeah. No, it was yaw. That was right. It's got a different orientation this time. So we need to go. Not too tall, but at the same time, it's too short for the welders. Unless you add another, so you add another row of welders. Uh, we need to drag this back a little bit. We could be a little bit more forceful with it, but I don't want to be. I'm just going to add more welders. Uh, we gotta do goofy things. That's that's for later. Two, three, four. Then we need to do that'll cover the front, and then we'll just back here. What's going to happen is we're going to lose enough of these ships, and by enough of these ships, I mean we're going to lose a third weevil, and I'm just going to go through and retune this so it works without blowing things up every time. It's not actually what's going to happen. One time I was building a ship with one of these and didn't have the Wobbly Boys put away. And, uh, they flew right, right into the welds, uh, and just got roasted. And I kind of felt bad, but at the same time, I didn't. Give me the motors. There we go. Alright, let's... Okay, build planner's wiped. Let's do this properly. On. Oh, because it's already got all the parts in it. Come on, Goose. Here we go. And then we'll just push it further back into the wall so it builds from the outside in properly. And, uh... We'll just start the print on this. We only need to go out one one piston's worth of, like, half a piston's worth of travel. We'll go take care of stuff underground. Like, fixing our sleep and all that stuff. Uh, while this prints. Like, if I want to do this correctly, I would have a piped connector hooked into the system so that when it welded, when it started the weld, I could just block the connector and then it would auto-fill things as it went. 
but that would require me setting up a welding wall somewhere not next to the highly explosive munitions factory in the middle of nowhere. So, aka not happening. Alright, so, uh, horizontal offset. I think we could go down one more, couldn't we? No, we really need to. Eh, 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 I guess we can. We need to go in more, which will be forward offset. Yeah, okay, so we come back to here. That's probably good, right? Yeah, and then we'll just take our our grid stuff. Get ourselves some girders. Make our temporary little screw. And what do I want to tie this into? I can't I guess I could do it there, but I think this is a full block, not a half block. So I think this will work. fix the groups. Once the initial layer is done, that's really the part that I'm concerned about. It should be a problem. I just needed to get enough stuff to get all the stuff on the extreme edges of that. Because this is the... That's the range it welds to, right? And so because the spherical overlaps after here-ish, we stop really being able to put things at the very end. So I wanted to get this stuff done first. And it'll get there. This is going to take a little bit of effort. Cool. Uh, I'm just going to set this velocity here. To 0 0.02. I'll find out if that's too fast in a minute. I'm going to go take care of things while that's doing that screaming about it. Oh, look at that sim speed. This is crashing. That is actually moving, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. just eating all of my CPU threads. So, uh, product productivity, right? Which is how quickly it can it can re replenish lost strength, which is the first second column. First is their tag. Oh, that crash. Uh, first is the tag, right? So the GC. Uh, second is their strength, which is how much actual strength they can they can leverage right now. Uh, third is the cap, which is their total capacity. So they, they can only build up to that. If their capacity falls and they lose resources, they can't replenish them. So, so far, FAF, because they lost uh, that base, the AHE headquarters, uh, they've not been able to build up past 90. But they've not lost any fights either. Uh, so they're still there. That said... The GC can replenish 22 at a time, and the aggro continues to go up. We've gone from 690 up to 760 over the course of tonight's stream, so uh, we need to get some silver. So, if we go, if we're here, if we go straight north over the pole, 
we will come down here-ish, which has silver in the hills. I think there's an outpost here-ish, though. This is the other start we had the option for, Carcosa, which has so many more resources nearby. There's also raiders. So, if you come straight over, I think what we'll do is we'll set up a mining operation here on this little island, because it's somewhere up on this hill. Again, I didn't bring a drill or an ore detector with me when I flew over, because I had ripped out the ore detector and the AI that I was, the AI-100 I was flying for an extra battery, which didn't actually have any value. <laughs> um, you just see the, the boxes popping up, which is amazing, as it welds. Green is blocks that are not placed yet. The fact that there's yellow intermixed with that is kind of concerning, but it looks like there's they're mostly a flat plane of green, so that means it probably is welding faster than the pistons traveling. We'll find out. Anyway, we set up a mine here. I didn't see any patrols over this island when I flew through earlier, so I think they'll be mostly safe. I don't think we need to bring, like, a battle mine. I think we can just do something like we set up over here with, like, the titanium mine, which, by the way, did have to rebuild once. So, our normal mine setup, where we just drop a cargo container and it picks it up for time for a while, I think they'll be useful well enough. Uh, that'll be uh, ship speed has crashed. We can fix that, though. Oh, come on. I know what it is. It was blueprinted. Oh, no. It's got highlight off. Interesting. There we go. Not having to render all the extra blocks made all the difference there. And make sure we turn the rest of these off because we don't need to turn that off. Oh yeah, look at that. From 15% back up to 50-something. And then the rest got picked up by cleanup. We have so much plastic. Why do we have so much plastic? That's a munitions factory is keeping up with what I told it to. In fact, we need to change... Uh, where is it? This needs to go from 100... Or 200 to 2,000, right? Yeah. And that'll be accurate for what we've actually told the munitions plant to push to. And that'll work. We have blown up so much GC stuff tonight, and it hasn't made a whole lot of a difference. So we need, we need to step things up. So there's options. There's options. I mean, it's replenishing slower. Not by much, though. Right, let's see. Let's get the rest of our gear back before I forget about it. Want a pair of binoculars? We need. Uh, you know, what? we're going to leave the paint gun out of it for right now because there's no reason to carry a paint gun with us if we're doing fighting. It's just a waste of a paint gun. We will, however, bring an extra hydrogen bottle. And you know what? Screw it. Let's bring some more rockets. All the rockets. All the rockets we can possibly bring. Just in case the same thing happens.
How's this going? Is it, is it still going? Yeah. Slowly, but it is. As long as the reactors get built. Right, I think we'll crank this up a little bit. So currently at 0 0.02. Let's do uh, 0.025. As things are fighting. Anyway. We need stuff. Uh, we need stuff for a mining outpost. Man, do I want to do... I don't know that I want to do... Do we care about the lithium? Not really. How much lithium do we have? How much raw lithium do we have, and where are we on taking apart those those battery components? One point sixteen K, another one point four K. From this is almost No, it's not. It's nowhere near. We got this. Busy's losing its mind, putting stuff where it shouldn't. It's fine to move that stuff around. So do we want to go and put a mine there? I don't I don't think we do. We don't need the lithium. We have so much lithium. Nothing we use disposes the lithium. Now if we were starting to print like disposable battery missiles? Yes. I'm kind of curious if that, if that plant's there. We don't need all that scrap metal f Oh, look at that. That actually made a difference to the sim speed, too. Okay, no. Yeah, I don't think I want to build a lithium mine. Like, we have it there if we need it. But I don't think it's going to be useful right now. Okay. Let's see, so... Uh, share inertia tensor on... Tensor on. I'm just gonna start cheating the uh, physics sim a tiny bit. That helps a huge amount. And then we'll just blast this way up. Hey, hey, look. Suddenly it's not wobbling around everywhere anymore. Though it is beyond where it can actually weld. And I'm slightly annoyed by that.
Yeah, it has so many things it just didn't weld. Fuck you, welder wall. If we have all the welders, it's almost like we're just not getting things moved around to the welders as they weld. Because they're welding so slowly. So much stuff just isn't built. What I get for not properly calibrating the wall. Right, because it has some serious swing to it. What are we out of? Reactor components. Because we have no silver. How are we out of steel plates? shit just slowly. Okay, so that's on me then, I guess. What are we out of? We're out of steel plates to make the armored plates. Are we out of iron? No, I think we're out of iron. No, we got iron. Why aren't we getting iron moved into... We have so much iron. Why are we getting no iron moved into the extruder or plate stand? The R is just super slow. What's going on? Huh. So the fact that we might have to... So, we can't make reactor components without silver. And since the Evil Weevil is dependent on reactor power, that kind of puts us dead to water. I think Izzy's is just losing its mind. Even though those are set to use the extruder, so they should be. And our sim speed just collapsed into the floor. Okay, let's let's go. That's a functional drone, functional drone, outposts. That's the trash remains of the one over there. We're just gonna remove this one now, because it's not gonna clean up because it's got power. pieces everywhere but these should all get cleaned up by the trash cleanup as we go there's not a whole lot of these there's these are all from the most recent crash they haven't had time to decay out yet so they're not gonna be causing that big of a sim speed hit and we already wiped out all of the floating debris so I'm going to assume then This is script problems. I 
amazing how when Izzy's script load stops running, sim speed shoots back up again. Because it's not trying to sort things. I mean, we're still at 50%, which is abysmal, so I need to sit down and just let stuff run and clean itself out. But, you know, it is what it is. Throw the explosive rockets in with our food. I need to heal up, because I did walk into that welder. Oh, and we'll go back up to the welder wall and we'll put it back in reverse. Actually, we'll just turn it off, because there's no point running it right now. We don't have the materials. We need to wait for things to finish being made. And right now, the reactors can't finish anyway until we get silver. So we need silver. Which means I have to make the long Arctic flight for silver. I didn't think that we would have issues with this running out of things like plates. I should kill them all. Cool, that does. Uh, let's turn this off. There's that. Yep, projector load. Alright, we're getting we're getting usability back. Okay, so we need to load up. We need to load up mine stuff. Uh, let's put this right back on here. Let's make sure we're loaded. Cool. Alright, so things for... Is there anything in this? Is it empty? It only... Cool, good. Uh, let's see, so for silver mine... Still have, he has to have this. So we need. Uh, we're not doing pipeline stuff. We need. One drill. Oh crap. We need plates for that. We gotta wait for things. Okay. Let's, let's do this differently though. Going to here, so drill. One, two, we need three drills. We need a wind turbine. We need a cargo stack. A whole bunch of cargo plates and a junction at minimum, because that has more pieces. But the other two don't. That's the start, and then just a ton more steel. drag the right tool in. And then like another 80 steel plates just for grids. So we're going to grab everything we can. Ah, crap. I screwed that up. Damn it. Now sim speed is making it impossible to clear things out. Okay. Let's try this again. This is mostly the large tubes that aim space. Okay. Uh, 
Can't believe I did that. When you're trying to load something up for a big long trip, don't click wrong. I can't believe that cargo transport is still showing on my thing. Alright, so back to this. So we go static drill. One, two, three of those. We need a turbine. We need uh, cargo. We need junctions to we'll do three junctions because that should give us I uh, know, can't do that, because... Yeah, no, we can't. That gives us more tubes and steel plates than we necessarily need. There's a bug on my desk. And that gives us more construction components we need. So technically every two of these is three of these, so that gives us three pipe sections. We just need a whole bunch of extra... steel plates after that. Okay. So... Alt, middle click. Alt, middle click. Alt, middle click. Okay, what are we waiting on then? We're waiting on... Steel plates. Motors. Around it steel plates. A lot of motors, a lot of steel plates. Okay. And that's just a matter of we have no choice but to wait for production to continue along with that. Well, like, we're going to just queue up a shit ton of iron ingots there. Just make a metric fuck ton of plates. And this is screaming along because it's doing the best it can. I think we might have an issue with production. I expanded it. It's doubled. That might not be enough. Or I just need to let it run with much higher desired stock levels and just do a metric ton of back stock. And that might just be the only way to deal with that. Right? Like, I could put more machines in here if we needed to. But we're starting to get cramped from what I crammed in here to begin with. With multiple levels and all that of machines as it is. Looks like it stands to screaming along. This is some of these are not really things that we can do anything. So, I think I'm going to go through and massively up the back stock we're trying to hold by, like, maybe a factor of 10. Get some more storage built, because, obviously, we ran out of ammo storage and it's now being mixed in with our food, but that's because we're also storing a lot more ammo now than I expected we would in the first place. So, there's that. I need to expand that out and fix that. And we need to start actually making enough things we pull the rest of these storage containers into usage. So let's come down here. Let's take a look at our to-do list. Did we get things done? Kind of. Blow up remaining GC offices on continents. Blow up the mining, the GC mining outposts. We did that. Uh, we do need more guns. We're going to get rid of this because this is occupying space. We know it now, it's a constant in our background. We still need to go to the moon. We need to, we need to build and repair. I would far prefer I would far prefer to have a couple building repairs running than the welder walls because it actually is 
more performance uh, helpful at that point in time. Like a single welder, no. Um, if I could get the weldy boys to not build the outer shell of something, then I would use them for that. I tried. Uh, it resulted in like really cursed things from the Weldy Boys when I did that. Uh, we still need to do the long-term products, projects, projects, blah, 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 blah. And we still need to do the drones thing. So I think what I want to do is work towards doing some automated drones for flying between the different the different mines we have. They don't need that. So we don't need coal, don't need copper, don't need bauxite. But the rest of these we do need. Because none of these are linked up to the existing tube system. Because we're burning multiple pipelines per kilometer. I'm like, we could tie into existing things, right? But there's no easy way, like, even even being 15 and a half kilometers away, the Niter Mine would still take at least seven, if not more, pipelines to get to the bauxite, because it's got to go around the mountain. Uh, the coal mine to the oil sand, right? That's over a mountain as well. You can kind of see that here. So it's not just, yeah, this is a straight four kilometers. We've got to come probably from here-ish. Down and around. And this gets back into the hole. If we're doing that, we may as well just set up a base here. Right? A port there. Um, the niter has to go this way, which this area here is pretty flat. But then you either follow the roadway and get shot by the GC. It's left to come up this way, up into the mountains. Uh, the iron, because of where it's located, it would be easiest to pull it down and around the mountain. Instead of going up and over. And then link into the existing line, which could mess with the ITC station respawning. So we don't want to do that. The titanium has nowhere to link up to. So we'd already be sending that, like, this way and then tying into the existing crossing. At which part we're looking at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. We may as well put a lithium on there at that point. So all in all, to link the existing mines we have that aren't tied into the pipeline network, we're looking at, I did some rough math, around 50 pipelines. And I don't want to add that many more separate static grids to the playthrough because it's going to result in perf bigger performance issues than we're already starting to see now. Um, like, this base is pretty damn huge. And it's mostly squared because that's helpful for the Weldy Boys pathfinding AI. Some of this may still end up getting torn down and redone, as it is. Like, I might just relocate all the refining stuff instead of over there to the industrial pad instead. But we'll see. We'll, we'll see how that goes um, and how it goes from there. Oh, right. I also put more assault cannons here sideways so that when gunships decide they're going to be smart and sit directly above and rain down hell on us, they just get shot. So, that was something I forgot to cover at the beginning of the episode. And of course, this is still horribly optimized, and so it's going to run like garbage. But the fact that we're not doing anything with it, we're still sitting at 70-ish sim speed versus 100 is, is rough. So, we need to build things. We need silver. We're getting there. We need silver. I have to plan an expedition for silver. Let's add that to the list as an immediate need thing. Uh, oop -do 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 -do. Silver expedition. Um, 
tenfold increase in back stock and inventory ability. In order to blow up the remaining GC offices on continents. I don't want to see a battleship. Because that implies certain size things. But we'll do a battle boat. Because I don't want to leave planet and leave this here while the GC still have such a strong foothold. Like, yes, we blew up three of their mines. It hasn't meaningfully impacted what they can do. And they just keep getting more and more angry. So either we need to show up with an overwhelming show of force in something that is just obnoxiously, unrealistically huge to swat them out of the sky. Right, like we show up with an actual battleship uh, and then just rain down orbital hell on them. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Time for science. It's time for science. Closer helmet. Science time, we got a closer helmet. What's the what's the gravity at five kilometers above the ground? Five kilometers above sea level. What does it fall to? Point eight two point eight. Point eight. We're out of atmosphere. Atmosphere. We can't make ions, but we could do some heavy hydrogen lifting. And at point eight gravity, it's less of a load to hover with. Also, the moon we need to get to is literally on the opposite side of the planet. Like, we're, we're literally... The moon is on the other side of the planet from where we based. <laughs> um, point eight. Point eight Gs. I might have to do some math to see how efficient we could get hydrogen lift at that point. Could we just sit above the base and shell it from space with 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 large grid uh, railguns? Would they send ships up to us? Could we instead go higher?
and drop literal explosives on them. Just build. Ba barrels. There we go. Just take a whole bunch of barrels. Make like a big, a big cube, a big Borg cube of barrels and just drop the explosives on them old school style. Yeah, but that's using real world heights, which uh, space engineers planners are far smaller. So the gravity, the, the gravity constant is still the same, but it falls off far faster. The, it's it's on some goofy ass J curve for gravity fall off, uh, and it doesn't it doesn't quite work. Yeah, real world that is correct. It also took far less hydrogen to to take myself up there than I thought. It took like ten percent. <laughs> I took 10% of one. Oh, I thought it was going to take a lot more than that. I feel kind of goofy. Okay, I need to get the map updated. Because these outposts are not going there. We need to blow up the fort over to Azurus. So we can take Azurus back. We need to blow up their base. Because it needs to be blown up. We need to take out this and this. And that gets... I think there's one over here still. That gets us all of... All the outposts. That will that too. That gets us all the GC's outposts on the planet, though. And they've got nothing left. They've got to go off-planet. Off So we need like a big, a big efficient destruction ship. The evil weevil's good. It works. We will continue using the evil weevil. We need something a little bit nastier for sieging. Something we can just park with a whole bunch of turrets and like maybe the weldy boys on it to make repairs while we take a weevil down and keep the drones occupied. All right, just fly big circles. What was the, um... got two options. We can either siege them from the water because <clears throat> this we can hit from the water. This we can hit from the water. This we can hit from the water. Can't hit these from the water. But we could park and then fly a weevil over and then hit those. Right? Because this is gone. GC wiped that out. I don't care about the Raiders. The Raiders just want to be left alone in their little desert. And I'm fine with that. I really think the ocean is the way to go. Or, you know, orbital bombardment. So, 
No, it's not the right button. No, it's the right button. That's where we're going to leave things. These are our goals. Uh, to make this, we have to have these two things. So the very next thing we need to do, we need to get a silver expedition going. So I'm going to keep working on this. Uh, if I have the opportunity, because again, it's, just, it's a flight and then a build. I'm going to fly over to the silver and start that going. We're almost done. Motors. Motors and electromagnets is the only thing we need left. Cool. Let's push on that some. Uh, fabricators are running, making electromagnets. They need, what are we short on? Copper wire, probably? Copper wire. Wire drawer two, wire drawer one. Let's prioritize the copper. Let's just stack up all the copper. And then we'll just add like several thousand more copper wire. So we're not gonna need the gold yet. This is still screaming along. Cool. As this gets done, the electromagnets get made, the motors get made, that's the hang up. Ugh, I gotta go through and reset that. So we'll do this, we'll get the silver going. Uh, with the silver going, we can get reactor components. We will need reactor components in order to power the boat no matter what. Well, no, that's not true. If it's a boat, we could use like more traditional like steam and go from there. But for flight, we really need, really, really need to have reactors. So we're going to go with that. Um, get the silver. Get our back stock up. Finish this. And then blow up the GC. And then we need these things. Because, seriously. Like, I get this is a thing. And it's annoying. But actually, you know what's not happened all night? No GC patrols have come by our base. They haven't even come nearby. Like, there was one that flew way out there, and one that flew way out there on the other side of the mountain. Nobody's come this way. Nobody's dropped down from space. Nobody's coming over the hills. Nobody's coming over the mountain. Nobody's come across the lake. They've been ignoring the base because we blew up the mines. So maybe, maybe blowing up the mines does have a valuable effect. It just doesn't, you know, show to the overall production power. But it is having an effect. Especially because we've increased their aggro so much. Yeah. So maybe we don't need build and repair for here. We'll still need them for whatever big thing we do, right? Like, if we make a boat just strap hydrogen engines to it, just thrust it up into space. That would be so goofy, but it would work. Ooh, actually. This whole time I'm like, we'll just make a boat, and we'll use atmospheric thrusters, because they work in water, I know this. But that's because I was thinking, oh, we'll just use, like, coal, and burn steam, and make all the electrical power we could ever need. We don't need that. We could use the far more powerful hydrogen engines and just make a battleship that goes the speed of light. Because it's in water. So we just convert it straight because this game has no concept of conservation of energy and mass. So unlike in the real world where that doesn't work, it works as space engineers. And we could just crack all the ocean water that we're sitting our boat in into hydrogen to shoot it out the back as giant flames. Uh, as, as a giant torch of righteous divine anger and then just artillery the shit out of the GC for being scumbags I'm having thoughts yeah I don't need no physics in this universe I say as I fly around in a hydrogen based jetpack and 1G of gravity as I carry 19 metric tons of bullshit in my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
like this game has so many things that are goofy in it, and I love it. Um, all right, goals, silver, because we need silver. We need silver just in case we lose. A ship crashes into our our med bay here. We need the silver for that because I can't buy silver. Like even the other ITC store over by the silver doesn't sell silver. So, because uh, that was my thought. I'm like, I'll fly over there. I'll buy it. Nope. Can't do that. So close. Anyway, I'm going to load this up. I'm going to fly. I'm going to fly over. We'll do some silver stuff. We'll come back with silver. We'll make things. We'll make big booms. Might not be the next episode. Might be the episode after that we make the booms. But we're going to make booms. We're going to make progress. We did damage the we did damage the GC today. We built through mines. I'm not gonna get this back. It's not the same as losing a colony. But you know. Nobody saw that. It uh It'll happen. We'll get a newsfeed entry. We'll get a newsfeed entry on taking one of their things. And that'll be how we do it. But uh that said. That's going to be where we end things for tonight. I uh, appreciate y'all coming out. Anybody watching the VOD after the fact. Highly appreciate it. Drop a like if you would. And drop a comment. Is there something I did completely horribly wrong? You want to nitpick? Drop a comment. It's fine. YouTube counts out as engagement. <laughs> See y'all back here uh, if you're here for YouTube only next Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern for yet again more Areas of War. Uh, this will be Part, part nine. What are we on? What part are we on? Part eleven. Oh man, we got all the parts. Part eleven. I'll think of a amusing title probably in the morning. Post it up, so it'll be there. You can you can remind yourself. If not, uh, live again as always on Mondays and Saturdays. 8 p.m. Eastern, Mondays, 2 p.m. Eastern, Saturdays. Doing some Dwarf, uh, not Dwarf Four, just doing some Deep Rock Galactic this week. Uh, Oktoberfest starts in game on, I think, Thursday. So we're going to go on through finishing up the promotion missions for the Miner again, and then rolling into the Oktoberfest, or Rocktoberfest, as they won't change the name to. Because I don't know why, but they won't. So hope to see y'all there for it. Stay safe, as always. Stay good.